Hello there! Today we will talk about Moira's lore. Like and subscribe if you don't want to be sucked off. <laughs> Moira Doreen is a brilliant geneticist from Ireland. She has always been on the cutting edge of genetic engineering, searching for a way to rewrite the DNA, something that has not been achieved before. Her goal may have been good overall. Modifying DNA would allow to cure many diseases, but her methods were questionable. She never allowed ethics to stop her pursuit of breakthroughs. She not only inflicted suffering to her test subjects, but even found pleasure in it. Moira was so determined that she even experimented on herself. That explains the color of her eyes, as well as the condition of her right arm. Over a decade ago, she published a controversial paper detailing her genetic programs that could alter DNA at the cellular level. When the scientific community found out about the ethical shortfalls of her research, she received a lot of pushback and Overwatch got even involved to silence her by forcing her to abandon this research. At this point Overwatch was already an established worldwide peacekeeping task force. But even they sometimes had to do some things in secret to not ruin their perception by the public. That's why the Black Ops Division was formed within the organization. The man responsible for its creation was Gerard Lacroix. He also used to be Widowmaker's husband. Blackwatch was commanded by Gabriel Reyes. He saw potential in Moira and decided to recruit her. Moira's employment was kept as a closely guarded secret. Even most of the Overwatch officials didn't know about it. Gabriel Reyes agreed to take part in her experiments which caused his cells to decay and regenerate at hyper-accelerated rate. That's where he got his superpowers from. The Talon organization already existed at this point and has attacked numerous Overwatch facilities. In response to the attacks, the Blackwatch division was tasked with tracking down those who are responsible. The Italian businessman Antonio Bartalotti was involved in the mentioned bombings. Antonio was also involved in weapons trade on a massive scale in Europe. He was under surveillance by Blackwatch for some time, but now they were ordered to apprehend him. Antonio operated from Venice in Italy. Moira, along with Reyes, Cassady and Genji, have infiltrated Antonio's compound under the cover of the night. Kinda weird, why would they send a scientist on a mission like that? I mean, she's more than capable of fighting, so yeah, whatever. Anyhow, they killed down troopers guarding the place and confronted Antonio. However, he wasn't intimidated by them at all. He knew that kidnapping a respected businessman such as himself would be a PR nightmare. And even then, he was so well connected that he would be freed again in a matter of days. Reyes acknowledged that he's actually right and imprisoning him won't stop him, then blasted his face off with one of his shotguns. The shot alarmed all Talon troopers in the area, so the mission turned into a full-out shootout. Despite numerous Talon reinforcements, the team managed to find their way back to the EVAC zone. In the following days, the world found out about the Antonio's death and the existence of Blackwatch. The fact that the blacklisted scientist was involved also didn't help Overwatch's PR situation. The public began to lose trust in Overwatch, foreshadowing its downfall. As a result, all involved in the Venice incident were put under suspension. Later, Moira told Reyes that he did the right thing and he shouldn't apologize. That is also the moment when Reyes has seen the flaws of Overwatch's ideology. He later fought with Jack Morrison in Overwatch HQ and completely leveled the building in the process. Both of them were gravely wounded in that fight and Moira came to Reyes' help. He was on the brink of death, so she injected him with the same serum which previously gave him his superpowers. But the the dose she gave him was substantially bigger this time around. That put him in constant state of agony and also justified Moira's further experiments on him. If you're wondering, the whole Venice incident was a playable co-op mission back in Overwatch 1. Also, there's an interaction between these four if they meet in-game. <sighs> what a nauseating bout of deja vu. Yep, working with you has always made me sick. Are you planning to whine the whole time? Again? <sighs> also, when you pick Moira on Rialto, she will say this. This city brings back memories. Moira had to find an alternative source of funding for her research. Since town was run by powerful and rich men who didn't question the ethics of her methods, she became a head council member and was responsible for the research-related activities. Thanks to her connections in town, she even became the Minister of Genetics and has her lab in Oasis University. I have yet to see a report on your latest experiment. It's making progress. Our timeline is non-negotiable. 
Keep interrupting me, surely that'll expedite things. Boom, this oversees her experiments and expects results. You are remembering to take your supplements. Look at these guns and ask me again. She also looks after Mauga's cybernetic implants. You've been distant lately, Lacroix. By your design. Pondering anything unusual? Dangerous? No, never. You could say that Moira created Widowmaker. She has put her through extensive brainwashing to get rid of her emotions, and lowered her heart rate, which improved her aim and resulted in her skin turning blue. Is there nothing you can do for this pain? Think of it as fuel beneath the flames of your vengeance. <sighs> Reaper's superpowers are simultaneously his curse. You've been rather quiet today, Doctor. I've gotten a lot done. If one built a violin of plank length, could one play music into another universe? Ugh, there it goes. Despite sharing an interest in science, Moira is often annoyed by Sigma's enigmatic quotes. You and Hefe need to stop frying Sigma's brain. I'm trying to help your little friend. <laughs> and yourself. Yes, let's discuss morality. And hypocrisy while we're at it. Moira also experiments on Sigma. However, Sombra stands up for him. You stopping in to see Max? I love how you make him squirm. Mm, it's amusing. I don't even experiment on Omnix. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Max is an Omnic head council member in Talon. He also owns the distillery in Havana and the casino at Circuit Royal. She also has some interactions with other characters that are worth mentioning. Hey there, Moira. How have you been? Busier than you, I'd assume. <laughs> I missed you too. You look great, by the way. Same saccharine tongue. Same empty head. Despite having a history, she's clearly not fond of him. I could have rebuilt you without all that metal. And left me a monster. Like other creations? That is a matter of perspective. God knows what Kenji would have looked like if he wasn't rescued by Mercy. You looking for a lab assistant? I'm great with chemicals! Certainly. We would begin by testing your tolerance for pain. Uh, what's pain have to do with science? Everything, my strange little friend. Junkrat offers his expertise, but Moira has other plans for him. Does it bother you that you've taken as many lives as you've saved? I don't mind killing monsters, but go on, keep pushing me. Anna openly shows hostility towards Moira. I've read about the genetic therapy they put you through. It sounds unpleasant. It was, but ignorance was worse. Don't bother, reason is lost on her. Moira mocks Mercy's sympathy for Hammond. Anyone want to hear my favorite joke about the periodic table? Nah. <laughs> In case you didn't get it, the joke is in the periodic table and any sodium. So we don't care. Don't joking. care. We still don't care. I don't care. I've read your report on cryogenically preserving severed appendages. I'd be happy to assist in your research. No, thank you. I don't think our methodologies are very aligned. Come now, doctor. I was only hoping to lend a hand. Moira is always interested in expanding her knowledge. However, most of the people have a moral spine. There is always room for brilliance at Oasis. I'm honored, but I have some reservations about your... Oh, what's the word? Atrocities? Inhumanity? Crimes against nature? Huh. <laughs> Any of those will do. It's the same situation here. Moira doesn't care who she works with as long as she advances her research. What is your fascination with artificial decay? Well, to reverse entropy, we must tame it. But inflicting it on yourself, you're withering away. Uh, I've always thrived under a deadline. He probably references the appearance of her right arm. So I'm trying to ask everybody this? What is your favorite animal? Scolopendra gigantea. Uh, yeah, I can see it. 
Well, at least we know her favorite animal is a Scolopendia gigantea. So from these interactions we can say that most of the characters don't like Moira because of her cruel experiments. Besides that, she always comes off as pretty mean, so no wonder no one likes her. And as far as Moira's involvement in the major events goes, she was in the background for the most part. Thanks to her experiments, we have Reaper and Widow. But outside of that, we don't know much about her. And I mean sure, she was in the Blackwatch and so on, but other than that, we don't know much about what she has been doing. Other than her origin story video, retribution event and two comic books, we don't really see her anywhere else. Comic books and animations usually show more action-oriented stories, so it makes sense that a scientist is not involved. Also, since Moira's experiments are kept in secret, it kind of makes sense that we don't know much about her. And here's some trivia that I found interesting. Moira's first appearance was in the Dumfries Masquerade comic book. Back in 2017, in the days leading up to Moira's reveal, her research paper was added to the Oasis University map. Additionally, Sombra and Reaper had an interaction hinting at Moira's announcement. So what are we doing here, boss? I need to pay a visit to a friend. Moira and Diva are the only heroes in the game that can perform quick melee using both hands. When you compare Moira's default skin from Orochi 1 and 2, you can see that the glorification of her right hand has actually progressed with time. In Moira's early concepts, she had a cannon or tentacles instead of her hand spray she has today. Moira's fate ability shows striking resemblance to the one Reaper has. Which makes perfect sense since both were achieved thanks to her research. 